so hello everyone welcome back to my channel and in, in today's video we will see how we can do the docker installation so this is the first series i am going to start in which we will see all the commands and to commands and thing related to docker so it this is going to be an ongoing series in which we will cover like from basics to advanced docker concepts so let's just get started and let's see how we can install a docker onto a uh, ubuntu vm so for that you should have a aws account here and i'm going to launch an instance so let me launch this instance first So I have created one EC2 instance and on that I have installed docker so let's wait until this will come up. So I will be using here mostly mobile extern to access my EC2 instances so this is what the console looks like. Okay here how you can access this like here you will get this interface you are here you have to click on this start a local terminal sorry you have to click on this session and here you have to choose which what, what are all the session you want to enable i will go for ssh so basically i'm going to ssh to my ec2 instance so here you have to specify your ubuntu name sorry your ec2 name and here go to advanced settings and choose a private key to get connected to that vms okay so i will be choosing okay just hit on okay and see either you can use putty but uh, this looks more good so that is why i'm using this so we are in now so what will be the first command like how we will check docker is installed or not so for that what you have to do you have to hit docker info so you will get some error like this so for that what you have to do you have to provide an appropriate permission so this is what uh, like we will check also the docker troubleshooting as well so that you can explain it same in the interview okay so for that i will be giving permission sudo let's give it this permission for this moment where run docker dot okay sudo ch mode to change the permission okay now once done let's see the docker info so now you can see here this is what it will give you all the things like how many containers and all are running into your docker so you can list down everything here you will know about on what operating system your docker has been installed what is the kernel version you have and how much top total memory okay apart from that this is the main thing you will see like insecure registry like if you want to configure your nexus right so those all things will be listed into this so right now it is not triggering to the nexus right this is what we have installed this is just triggering our docker system docker ecosystem now we can start or enable our docker uh, like how to check the docker version so this is just a simple command docker and this will show you what is the docker version installed like this is the client version and this is the docker engine version okay so now let's get it started what was the agenda of this like we will see how we can create list and remove containers correct so for that what we have to do what is the first command let's clear this screen first so one thing if you don't know about docker you will simply do docker hyphen hyphen help this command is going to help you a lot like how to get started okay now these are the command docker like docker will be the first command and after that you will be appending docker attach docker build docker commit correct docker pull in that way it will go okay so docker help we have seen now what else we can do uh, we can list out all of our container how can we do that docker container ls so right now we do not see any running container here okay this is very very important command how to list your container docker container ls container this is a typo 
okay and interviewer may ask you like i want to see all the stopped and running containers at the same time so you just have to do docker container ls hyphen a so this this basically do what it will list out all your running containers only and this command will help you to list down all your running plus stopped container okay so this is uh, going to be a very important command as per your inter interview perspective now once you have done now i just want to run a ubuntu ubuntu container so so i we have seen how to list now we will see how to create a container so the command is simple docker and you have to write a sub sub command docker container and now what you have to you want to run correct run and here you have to mention any image name i will i will choose ubuntu it should uh, pull the image this image ubuntu image from docker hub it is i am not mentioning any version here so what it will do it will choose it will try to pull the latest version of image correct and here once you will do that once you will hit okay so see what it is doing it first it does what it just try to find this image into the local if it is not there see if it, if it is not there uh, present into locally it will do what it will try to pull from docker hub correct now once you will do docker container ls let me do it again so it is not listed here because how we can find that how we can list out okay so it is exited because something should be running inside this container then only it will be keep on running okay because this is we this is what we did we just uh, pulled that image and we did nothing with that right so that is why it is in exited state so this is the one thing we saw now i want to do what i want to remove this container how can we do that so docker container rm and here either you can provide the container name okay that is this or you can provide this container id so it is not mandatory like you will be typing all the things you will just write the first one or two which will differentiate it will it will do that it will try to remove that okay once it is removed how to check docker container how to check all the container runnings and running and stopped in this we're using this command so we do not find any command any container which is running currently correct okay so let's see you in the next lecture